Premier Mike Baird has staked his leadership on the privatisation of the poles and wires. Now a new report shows the government might be struggling to sell the plan to wary voters. The ABC's Vote Compass survey finds that one third of Liberal voters are opposed to it and the biggest opposition is in regional areas. Claire Aird takes a look. At this debate for business leaders in Wollongong, the privatisation of electricity assets is an easy sell. Investing $20 billion in this state that will turbocharge not just our whole state, but also the Illawarra. But the message isn't resonating with the majority of voters. Vote Compass asks should New South Wales lease its electricity transmission network to the private sector? 55% of you said no. Broken down along party lines, the results look like this. The most opposition comes from Labor voters, but a quarter of Liberal voters are against the plan. And the task for the government in the election campaign is to solidify those people, to make sure they don't wander away and vote for somebody else on that issue. The Premier wants to lease half of the state's electricity assets to the private sector for 99 years. That includes 100% of Transgrid, which operates high-voltage transmission lines across New South Wales, and around 50% of Ausgrid and Endeavour Energy, which provides power in Sydney, north to Newcastle, west to the Blue Mountains, and right down to the southern highlands. Islands. There'll be no change in delivery to regional areas, but opposition there is among the highest in the state. Uh, the cost will go up eventually once it gets put into uh, private hands. Uh, no, I don't agree with privatising like, public assets, because um, once they're gone, they're gone. Yes, because it'll make it more efficient, but no, because once they've got it, who knows where the prices are going to go. Well, I have heard that in the long run, privatisation of poles and wires will be cheaper for consumers. Labor is warning electricity prices will rise. The government is guaranteeing power bills will go down. To find out where you stand, complete the survey at abc.net.au forward slash vote compass.